pundits call it. What, are you, what, are your, what is your take on, on, on what has been happening? We saw Kisi yesterday, the other day. Here in the capital, we saw uh, the ODM leader, Raila Odinga, being heckled in Gidurai. And moments after that, the deputy president was also being booed and jeered in Burma. What, what's your take on this? Thank you, and, and good evening, Ben. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm so sorry I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to hear uh, Honorable Shamala, but I would like to believe that at this point in time, we are all so far of the opinion that what took place in Kisi yesterday was utterly shameful. I think um, to reflect on what you're saying or, or what you've asked, the fish rots from the head. And when you talk about uh, the lack of decorum, lack of respect, uh, uh, throwing punches, heckling, abusive behavior, I take it straight back to the feet of the leaders. And these leaders, it's not about ODM or Kieleweke or Tanga Tanga. At this point in time, it is about our leaders collectively taking responsibility for the deterioration in tolerance, respect, and decorum. Where is chapter six? At this point in time, those, uh, those legislators who are fighting shouldn't even be in office. But this is, not, this is not uncommon, Ben. So many instances of poor behavior, bad behavior. And back to the leaders. I did not hear uh, neither the Deputy President nor uh, Right Honorable Raila Odinga condemn what happened yesterday. Instead, it continues further justification. Oh, we are here because of this. Oh, we have to defend our positions. And the more they draw the line firmly in the sand, the more hard line they all become, the more the situation deteriorates. But I want to reflect on the fact that these are the same leaders who bring thousands and thousands of unemployed, poor, desperate people to their rallies, bar none. There's not a single political leader at this point in time who has taken the time to care for Kenyans while we're in the middle of a pandemic. When I think of the former governor's uh, song that he popularized, the party after party, I see rally after rally after rally after rally after rally. And these rallies are often rowdy. They degenerate. Nobody says anything. When people contract COVID, nobody will be there to pay their bills. You know, there's just a general overall misbehavior from the very top. And until our leaders at the top collectively check themselves, call themselves to order, and therefore their respective lieutenants and generals and foot soldiers, we will continue to see a degeneration and a deterioration of things. You know, I, I, I just find it completely contemptible that at this point in time, this family was not able to bury their loved one safely and respectfully yesterday. This desecration of this event is nothing more than an indicator or manifestation of the disrespect that is spreading across the country like wildfire, where tempers are flaring, where there's just zero intolerance. And we are wading knee deep, waist deep, neck deep, deep into a situation that we will not be able to prevent from exploding. And I cannot emphasize this enough. And even on social media, the jokes that are going around, even legislators themselves are saying, oh, uh, actually it is Osoro's cheek that met with Arati's fist. I mean, we are cracking jokes about the deterioration of public order. But at the end of the day, when you see police come out, when you see quelling of riots, who gets hit? Not the legislators not the misbehave, the, those who are misbehaving at the very top. It is the innocent Wanainshi, those who are so desperate, those who are so poor, they will attend rallies, they will throw stones, they will be misused, and they will be mismanaged. So really, Ben, it was a big shame. And shame on all of those who are there, legislators especially, and shame on our leaders at the right. very top. Let's bring in the NCIC chairman into this. Uh, Daktari, thank you for joining us. Watching all this happenings um, last week in Nairobi, in Kisi now, and it doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. What are you and your commission thinking? Well, thank you, uh, Ben, and uh, uh, good, even, good evening, fellow uh, panelists. Uh, first of all, uh, allow me to 